Before you commence programming, ensure the red button on the motor is accessible. Ensure the antenna is straight and avoid direct contact with metal objects. Charge the motor for three hours. Release the battery case on the remote, squeeze the sides and slide out the casing. Place a CR2430 3 volt battery into the remote case and slide the casing back into the remote. Remove the protective film from the face of the remote in order to effectively operate the remote. To assist with operation of the remote, use a pin or rivet to press the C and L buttons on the back of the remote, as well as the red button on the motor. Before you commence programming, you must perform a factory reset. Hold the red button on the motor until it jolts twice. The motor is now ready for pairing with a remote. Hold the red button on the motor until it jolts once. Within 6 seconds, press the C button on the back of the remote. The motor will jolt once to confirm pairing. Press the up and down buttons on the remote to confirm the blind is moving in the correct direction. If the blind is travelling in the wrong direction, press the stop button on the front and the L button on the back of the remote at the same time. The motor will jolt once to confirm the change in direction. Hold the L button on the back of the remote until the motor jolts once. The motor is now in limit setting mode. Press the up button on the remote to send the blind upwards. When the blind is approaching your preferred position, press the stop button. Use the up and down buttons in step mode to locate an exact position for your blind. Press the C button on the back of the remote. The motor will jolt once to confirm the upper limit. Press the down button on the remote to send the blind downwards. When the blind is approaching your preferred position, press the stop button. Use the up and down buttons in step mode to locate an exact position for your blind. Press the C button on the back of the remote. The motor will jolt once to confirm the lower limit.